You mentioned earlier uh, about the risk profiles between different treatments. Yeah. Um, refractive lens exchange perhaps having a slightly higher risk profile yeah. than PresBeyond. What are in fact the risks of PresBeyond and how do they compare to the other procedures available? Yeah, yeah. So um, the, 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 the risk of losing vision, of going blind with laser eye surgery is zero. There has never been a case reported in the medical literature of someone going blind in both eyes not being able to see after laser. And that applies to, to Presbyon LASIK as well. So this, I could go blind after laser eye surgery, just doesn't exist. Um, the same cannot be said for refractive lens exchange. So refractive lens exchange carries a, a risk of serious infection or serious bleeding inside the eye. Now these are vanishingly rare. One in 10,000 cases will have a serious infection which actually permanently damages the vision. But the risk is not zero, and therefore when you're weighing up presbyon LASIK versus refractive lens exchange, that is an important factor. Um, the second uh, difference in terms of risks is that generally with refractive lens exchange, uh, the ac accuracy of the treatment, the need for a, a, no, a second procedure to fine tune the vision is very, very low, somewhere in the order of 2%. Mm -hmm. And um, that, uh, you know, that's extremely low. And what fine tuning involves is, is effectively some laser eye surgery. Right. If the focus of the eye after the lens exchange is not quite perfect, we can just make a minor adjustment with the LASIK laser. Uh, and the risk of that again is about 2%. The risk of needing a fine tuning procedure after Presby on LASIK is certainly higher. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, depending on the complexity of the prescription between 1 in 10 to 1 in 20 patients, mm -hmm. will need a second procedure after presby on LASIK to fine tune the vision, to, to balance the eyes, um, and, and that's, that's, a, that's an important fact that people need to understand. But I suppose, I suppose the question is, is like if, if you're going to have a refractive lens exchange and they have the potential of needing to fine-tune it with laser, then why not just go ahead and have the laser in yeah, the first place? That's a reasonable price, but uh, something which very often makes patients choose a refractive lens exchange over a presbyon LASIK is the fact that if you have presbyon LASIK, you will definitely need to go on and have cataract surgery at some stage in the future. I see. So you are, it's essentially which way around you want to do it. Do you want to have the quick, safe, simple, uh, lower cost option of presby on LASIK to get you 10 years, 15 years without needing any glasses, knowing that eventually you will have your cataract surgery? Or do you want to have the other way around, which is that you have your lens replacement surgery, knowing that there is a 2% chance of maybe needing a small adjustment with a laser? Now, I think it's important to understand here that when we're talking about adjusting patients' eyes with the, with the laser after multifocal lens implants, that is included in, in the kind of cost of the procedure. It's one treatment episode. It's all done within a short period of time and then no more treatment afterwards. And if you had a laser procedure, there would be no contraindication in the future to having a cataract surgery. No, absolutely procedure. No not. effect? Absolutely not. There, in the past, uh, with older laser treatments, patients who had laser eye surgery 20 years ago, when it comes to doing their cataract surgery, we have to be a little bit careful about which lens implant choices we use, and I think if, if, that, if you're in that situation, you really need a refractive surgeon involved in your care, because there are certain multifocal lens implants that it's absolutely fine to use after laser eye surgery. There are others which shouldn't be used, and that's a very technical thing. Mm. Okay. But okay. certainly everyone who's had later eye surgery absolutely can have cataract surgery. That's good to know. If you'd like to know more about vision correction surgery, give us a call and get started on your vision correction assessment.